Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I'm going to be doing a first impressions and review of the Made by Mitchell comic case. So I was a bit back and forth about this. I didn't know if I wanted it but I wanted a sing like a single blush balm lights but they were like £14 each and then the comic case was on sale for £20 so I was like I might as well just get this and try it out and have eight shades instead of one so that's what I did and I literally ordered this and it came in like 36 hours like the turnaround for me by Mitchell's is always so good for delivery and everything but yeah I can't wait to try this out it's got so many nice shades from the blush light formula you can see them all listed there and I actually have the blush lights very kitten on my eyes today so I'm just so excited to try this out so if you want to see my thoughts and first impressions of this product then just keep watching so this is what the comic case looks like when you take it out of the box super pretty and then this is what it looks like inside i have um swatched a couple of the shades up here just these two ice ice baby and champagne spray i haven't touched any of the other ones but yeah as you can see super nice and um, i just can't wait to try these out so i'm gonna try and use one some of them for bronzer today um i feel like i kind of want to try this one penny from heaven it, i don't know like I'm not sure if it'll suit for bronzer or not it might be like i might need to mix it with a tiny bit of the copper cool shade but then that looks a little dark so i don't know um i'm gonna just put my finger into pen from heaven just to kind of like warm it up a little bit there so hopefully this should go on like nice as bronzer i've got the little made by mitchell mf4 brush to use anyway so i'm just gonna put my brush into it. i have no idea what like what this formula is really like because i've never used brush balm lights before but put my brush in there and I'm just gonna put a little bit on oh my gosh that's that's really that's really pretty and glowy like I feel like I just don't want too much because I am using the the bronzing pod as well so like I don't want like loads and loads of this but I feel like I don't know. I don't think I need to use the copper cool shade. I feel like if I just use this, it should be good. I didn't know whether to use this brush or the usual uh, brush that I use. I'm, I have used this, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I like it for that. So I'm gonna go in with this one that I normally use. But so far, it seems to be it's really nice. I think I actually just prefer this brush for bronzer. I do like that little MF4 for blush though. Drop my cheeks now. Like, do you see the glow from that? It's literally so pretty. I kind of want to try some of the copper cool but I am a little bit scared so I'm not going to um I just don't want it to be too much and I actually think this is such a good bronzer shade for me without it being like too intense I'm really impressed with the glow from these like I don't know why I ever thought I wouldn't be impressed with the glow from these but I feel like you can see it like way more on camera than I can in person because I was like it's that you can really pick it up anything for me but when I look on camera I can definitely see it has bronzed 
And the I thought you just go a little bit more on my forehead there. I'm very impressed with that. I'm hoping it's going to go really nice with the bronzing pods. So, um, next I'm going to try blush. So, I'm so excited. Um, I, I think I'm going to use Pink Links because I love the blush lights in that. So, Pink Links is this one. So, I'll just go through all the shades. Let's see what we get. So this is Ice Ice Baby Champagne Spray, Penny from Heaven, Copper Cool. Fairy Kitten, which is the one I have on my eyes in the regular blush lights formula. Candy Trip. Pink Links and Wanda. I do actually have the blush lights for all of these apart from Penny from Heaven and Copper Cool. So they're new shades for me. But let me try the blush in Pink Links. So again, Pink Links is this one. So I'm just going to like put my... I'm going just to warm it up a little bit just before I go into it. This is super exciting. I'm just using this little 17 cosmetics brush because you know this is just like my favorite one for cream and liquid blushes. So I picked up like a decent amount there so And of course I am going to powder over all these just because I just I just feel like I want to set them to see the like um I'm going to use the high slabs highlight blusher um in rose quartz to go over this blush because I just think that's going to match so well but I'm going to come back later in the video when all my makeup's done and I'm going to try fairy kitten from this palette over the top of my powders as a highlighter to see how that's going to work so that should be interesting but yeah pink links is super super pretty so yeah you can see it more on this side because that's where i pick up all layers of it on i feel like so far i'm really impressed with it i feel like they're very um buildable but that's probably because i've literally just opened it like once you start using these for a little while then they, they will become you know um once you kind of get into the product a bit more then i feel like that they become more kind of pigmented over time Like literally look at how pretty the glow is. I am super obsessed. I'm gonna go back in with the penny from heaven just for a little bit more of that. Where I think maybe we've lost a little bit on the cheeks. I'm so impressed so far. Um Yes, this is what things are looking like. I'm gonna go and powder everything and then come back and I'll try, I'll show you what it looks like and I'll try Fairy Kitten as like a cream highlighter. Okay, so this is what I'm looking like now. I may have went a bit crazy because by the time the powders are applied, it is looking pigmented, but this is what my cheeks are looking like. Um, I don't know, I actually think I might put a little bit more I don't know. I just might try. So it's looking a little bit bronzy on this side. So I might just try and kind of blend in with my powder puff so that it's not quite as bronzy. Yeah, that's a bit better. No, <laughs> um, I'm still a complete beginner with bronzer, as you can tell. But yeah, this is what things are looking like. The glow is literally. And see, I used the high slabs, uh, like highlighter in rose quartz as a blush topper. I literally, like, look at the glow on my skin. I haven't even sprayed setting spray yet. Like, 
used W7 Rust Lip Liner and IRL Beam Gloss from Mipa Mitchell and it's just so nice so I'm gonna go back in with the comic case this is a bit I'm scared of because I generally don't really like creams just sitting on my face without being powdered but I'm gonna trust this so I'm gonna use Fairy Kitten for cream highlighter I'm gonna apply it with my finger and then I do have this little brush from Primark to like kind of blend it in so that's what it looks like on my finger super super nice so I'm just gonna apply it over the top with So that's the, the difference between the sides. I don't know if I need the brush. It's just like it's blending in fine with with just my finger. So that is what uh, the highlights looking like on one side. It's super pretty. I genuinely don't even think I need the brush. Maybe I should try and apply it on this side with the brush no because I'm scared um I'm messing it up because it looks fine applied with my finger but I'm just gonna go in on this side with it oh my gosh like I just like kind of like diffused the blush a little bit I well I want to say that I'm not entirely sure about that but oh it's just it's so pretty like I hope it doesn't irritate me too much because sometimes just straight up creams on my face can like kind of irritate me but literally look at how pretty fairy kitten is like you can use these for your eyes as well but I didn't use them for my eyes because I feel like these would just be like a disaster on my eyes because my eyes are very oily and they'll crease at anything. So that is the fairy kitten applied. I am literally obsessed. Like I don't even have words right now. Okay, let me go and spray some setting spray now and um, just gonna use the 17 illuminating mist but I'm actually gonna firstly I'm going to use the glow milk mist to kind of like lock everything in because like <laughs> I feel like I'm just so glowy I genuinely like I don't even need an illuminating mist but I'm gonna go in with the the glow milk mist first which is more so to lock the makeup in place Um, and then I'm gonna go in with this one in a little bit there. Um, the 17 illuminating mist to make everything glow, but like realistically, do I even need to make everything? That's so annoying because I like I did shake that before I used it, but it's still kind of like left a little patch there. <laughs> so. Like, the skin is super, I, like, I'm actually upset, okay? I just, I'm going to put a time worth lip gloss on because it's just my personality. Yeah, like I genuinely like if I had to pick a word to describe how I feel like this makeup is, I, like genuinely, um, I would probably say like galactic comes to mind, like literally, like I don't know, like you know, some sort of galaxy cosmic inspired makeup look because like 
yeah that's that's really like how i feel wearing this i feel like very sparkly very almost like almost like something like space like i don't know but yeah that's literally like how i feel right now um i'm literally obsessed like literally most of this look is made by mitchell because of the of the blur on i've got the the blur primer the brighten concealer um the beam gloss i've got the um you know bronzer from the comic case powder bronzer um the blush from the um comic case highlight from the comic case you know very hint on my eyes i just feel like this is very made by mitchell look and i just feel like yeah, you always just made by mitchell like makeup i always just feel like very sparkly and just over the top that's really what i'm feeling right now but i'm yeah i'm genuinely obsessed so let me know what you think down below but i think this is such a good product i don't have anything else like this in my collection it's so unique the formulas are so unique like even like it is slightly different from the curve case obviously because of the like the sparkly element to it but i just feel like i don't know like yeah it's just such a good product i'm so glad that i, I got it uh because i was i was hesitant but like like literally look at this glow like i don't know these cases are taking over the world of makeup literally the curve cases now the comic case yeah i'm i'm literally obsessed i think that's went over the top of the powder super super well also um but yeah let me know what you think down below of the makeup look like always if you did enjoy the video please give it a thumbs up hit the like button subscribe for future content but i'm literally yeah I, i'm speechless but um thanks so much for watching and i'll see you again soon in another video bye